Hey, hey, Gino. Hey, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. And you? Good, good. Only one more week, Gino. Five. Oh. That's it. Next week. <laughs> it, but is this like the 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 the, the like the top or, or like the last module of the of the course? It is. The, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. You know, I, I'm not sure if they have um if they have a conversation club after. Maybe okay. that's the next one that you can join a conversation club okay. or yeah something like that. That that was what I was looking for. So that that's why I'm grateful that with you, the 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 classes are like like more more conversation, because yeah because uh, I used to live abroad and uh, but that was like seven years ago and I I lost like the the you know the w w when you don't you you don't practice a language like uh, often you you lose like uh, you practice so so the fluency I, mm -hmm. yeah that's 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 the word yeah so i've been i've been I, 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 that's what i was looking for yeah i think the next the next one that you have is a, a conversation class okay mhm mm good I, I'm not sure, but that's that's the one that I think. But um, okay. I'll, I'll ask, I'll ask uh, in the group to see what they say if that if that's what they have. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, okay. uh, tell me a little bit about your day. What what happened today? Oh, today it wasn't that like that bad because I had a home office today. Mm -hmm. So I I work from from home and. Had several meetings, but the heat was just unbearable. I like took like two showers today <laughs> because it, it was so hot. It was. It usually happens before it rains, right? Yeah. Or if it rains a little, and then the next day it's so hot. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But one more week, we have vacations. It's gonna be fun. And what are you gonna? What do you plan to do this weekend? How are you gonna relax? Actually, I'm. I don't think I'm gonna relax because I have to do a lot of things, like home improvement things. Because uh, we have like uh, people coming over during the vacations that are staying with us, and like I have to clean the house and 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 uh, fix a little a lot of stuff here but uh, i can't do do it during the week so i have to do it this weekend okay okay mm -hmm. yeah it that's a problem when you have our when you have english class uh, work long hours have the, mm -hmm. you have so many things to get done but really you don't have the time to complete everything you have to go yes. little by little yes precisely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's what i i try to in my case i try to establish a routine so, for example, some days uh, during the week when I have uh, an hour, I know that I can go to the supermarket and mm -hmm. then in the weekend I can do this or I know at this time I can do my homework from university and just like little things that maybe is not every day, but you know what day you have more time available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. precisely. I, I tend to, since I, I'm not a, like a, a, a late sleeper, I usually wake up around six o'clock during the weekends. I, I usually go to the supermarket like uh, really early. That's pretty early. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Roxana, how about you? What do you do on the weekends? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oh, what are, what are, what I am doing in the weekend on the weekend. Correct. What do you do on the weekends? Well, um, on Saturday I worked, and on Sunday I went to church. No, no, but normally it's my routine. Uh -huh. Normal, yeah. Uh -huh. Normal. So then, no past tense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no past tense. No, I worked is I work, I go, because you are describing the routine, not, not the last Sunday. 
Oh, I work. Okay, so on, on Saturdays. I go to church. Okay, yeah. What, in, what? In, in, the, in the morning. Okay. In the evening, I stay at home. Okay, what about Saturday afternoon? Because you say you work Saturday morning. So what do you do Saturday afternoon? On um, Saturday afternoon, I did, I do many things in my house. I wash clothes and sometimes I, I, I walk with my dog. Oh, what kind of dog do you have? What kind of dog do you have? Chihuahua? Oh, uh, husky? it's a, mm -hmm. it's a uh, Pastor Belga Malinois. Wow. Malinois. Okay. But it's, it's very high practice. Mm -hmm. I, I love that breed. It's crazy. But it's crazy. It's a small they dog. They are very intelligent. No, he, he, yes. They, they, they are bigger than... Uh, German Shepherd. And he wow, pretty big. beat me all the time. <laughs> it's, it's seven months. It, oh. He is seven months. He's still a puppy. Yeah. yeah. A but lot of energy. A, a lot of big. energy. Yeah. Okay. Well, it sounds like, you know, it's nice to relax. So that's what we're going to take a moment um, before we we get started into today just with our partners just a few quick moments we're going to take a moment and talk about it. what are your plans for your weekend is it normal for you um what are your normal routines what do you like to do if you could do anything on the weekends what would you prefer to do okay so what do you normally do what do you like to do and what would you prefer to do if you had the opportunity to do anything on the weekends it's okay yeah. All right. So let's join up with our partners and let's find out. Yeah, it's great to relax. You're right. But the question is, how do you, what is relax for you? For some people is going to the mountains and hiking and other people, I know that's exercise. So let's take a moment and see what each person says.
Hey, Luis, how are you? Luis? Luis, you okay? Okay, as I said, only a few moments, discuss it, think about the plans and the actions. It's okay, were there any words or vocabularies that you Good say? Good evening. Good evening. How do you say this or how do you, or how do you pronounce that? Any words? How do you, I have a question. How do you call the, um, the things where you get on, on, um, like festivities, like the mechanic things. Those are called drugs. I know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the I <know>. other thing. <laughs> like the other one, like the other ones. Like in, in, in like. In, like rights. The rights. The ones that in Puerto de la Libertad, the ones that they're building. Uh, not specifically those ones, but yeah, those machinery things. Okay. How do you call them? Most they're called roller coasters. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. and as uh, Gino mentioned, many people say rides. You want to get on the ride, but usually mm -hmm. the rides are the small ones. So like the the little horse that goes in a circle, or the ones that go in a wheel. These are just like Ferris wheels. They're like rides, but the big ones when you go to maybe Patapa or uh, Chetululu, Chocomil, those are gonna be the big ones, okay? Those are gonna be the roller coasters. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? Sure. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, Rocky. If you if you watch TV for two or three hours every day, you have an addiction or no? I say yes. The addiction yes. is for me, an addiction is when you cannot stop doing something. So if you watch TV, it's not a problem. It's a routine. But if you have a problem where you feel anxiety where you say ah, i know no 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 I, I have to see what happened I have, and you can't then this is an addiction just like anything the okay. idea the addiction is something that for you is difficult or impossible to stop that is the difference i understand thank you you're welcome why do you ask roxy do you have an addiction oh uh, i think maybe <laughs> 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 because it's difficult for me to cut when I watch some programs that it's interesting in, and I spend um, three or four hours to watch some programs. And I think. It's, and it's every day. I have an age. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, hey, maybe. <laughs> not, not all, like, all, a lot of people have many different addictions. Some people have addictions to coffee. They can't stop drinking coffee. It's a caffeine. Some people have an addiction to soda. They have to drink the soda every day. So yes. everybody yeah. has different addictions. I am addict to a coffee. A coffee and a cigarette for breakfast for Luis. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> this is the no, I, I, I like it too much, the coffee. Um, in my case, I... I have I drink a lot of coffee during the day. Okay, okay. Maybe, for example, in this afternoon, for example, and uh, in, in the place where where I, I work, uh, they don't have water, hot water to coffee. Yeah, it's, for me, it's very difficult to, uh, to drink a coffee. 
and then you suffer. Yeah, I'm suffering. My please, mind. please, I will give you advice. I will give you advice. <laughs> I, have, I, I, I have a friend that says that he drinks water. He drinks water the whole time, but with coffee. So you don't have an addiction. You drink water, okay. but with coffee. There you you, go. You're, you're, you're trying to stay hydrated with coffee flavored water. <laughs> it's true. All right, guys. So okay. now we're going to go on to our activities in the platform. In this moment, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we finish or read again if it's not clear from yesterday. This is 3.10. With your partners, read and answer it's true or false. We are not going to take a long time, only a few minutes because we read the article yesterday. It's only for you to go back, remember, and answer the questions, true or false. So for this one, just a few moments, and then we come back. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. One moment. Luis, you have problems? Okay, let's take a look. Who has number one? Teacher, it was so fast. <laughs> it, was it was so, so fast. fast. Yes, the idea was only to help us a little bit from yesterday. But go ahead. We can try to num we can try to do it together. Okay. So Audrey hadn't noticed uh Holla Peter before he fell on the tracks. I think this was in the second paragraph, I believe. Yeah. Yes, right there. It says he left onto the tracks and he realized he didn't have time to get Mr. Halleponder 
Halapar, Hala Peter, sorry, and himself back up to the platform. Hmm. So is this true or false? It's false. It's false, false because there he realized he saw them, right? False. Mm -hmm. It's false. What about number two? There was very little space between Autry and the bottom of the train. It's true. That's true. Yeah. And the last one, Autry jumped on the tracks because he wanted to be a hero. It's false. 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 It's not his objective was not to be a hero, right? No. Only hey, there we go. Correct answer. The people in the New York are gonna think. That was it. It's only the people think he's a hero, but he said, no, yeah. I did what was correct. And that was it. All right. So now we are finished with chapter three with our unit three. We're going to go on to the next one, starting today, unit four. Let's take a look. What is the objective? My dear. Using future perfect and using future perfect continuous. This is the idea that we're going to see. Let's watch the video and get a better understanding what it is. Hello, in this class, we will show you when and how to use Future Perfect and Future Perfect Continuous. Future Perfect and Future Perfect Continuous. Use the Future Perfect to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved by a particular point in the future. By this time next year, your self-confidence will have increased. Use the future perfect continuous to emphasize the duration of an activity in progress at a particular point in the future. By the end of next year, you will have been studying your chosen language for 12 months. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. They express the completion or duration of an action or event at some point in the future. They can be used to talk about an event or action that started in the past, but will not be completed until the future. The future perfect. The future perfect is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect. For example, by this time next year, I will have graduated from school. The future perfect continuous is made up of the simple future of will plus the present perfect continuous. Example, by this time next year, I will have been studying English for six months. Common time phrases for these sentences. After, by then, before, when, by the time, by tomorrow, by eight o'clock, this year, this month, this week, next year, next month, next week, for five hours, for 10 years, for a few days, for six months, since morning, since Friday, since 1996. Use these time expressions to write sentences using either future perfect or future perfect continuous. Number one, before this class ends. Number two, in two years' time. Number three, by the end of the week. Okay, so what is the most important part of the future perfect? Really, the most important for you to understand is that it happens or it finishes before another time. You're perfect. Here, you use will have because you complete this before the time in there. So as an example, I am thinking about this year and I am thinking before 2023. Imagine we have 2023 Christmas, okay? What are you going to do before the year finishes? What are you going to do before 2023? Ah, you don't know, but you, you don't know when you're going to do in the future, but you know you are going to do this before. As an example, 
I will have finished my English classes. I don't know when I finish my English classes, but I know it's going to finish before the end of the year. This is the future perfect, that you do the activity before. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? So, so, no, yes. I don't listen to anybody. I don't see you guys when I, uh -huh. yes. What yeah. yes, it's clear, yes. Well, yes. okay, Man, you, you guys are the best. All right, I like it, okay. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, man. The idea is exactly so if you are going to have a baby, if you are going to get married, if you are going to uh, go to another country, you have to do things before that, right? So before, imagine Flor. Flor looks like she's 20 something. Flor, what is going to be your life before 30? I'm 32. <laughs> oh my goodness, Flor. <laughs> You look so young, Flor. You look so young. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So, Flor, what are you going to do before you are 40? Um, not sure how to say it, but getting married, hopefully. <laughs> that's so then I that's will how you, have correct. Sorry? I will have getting married. So so I don't know. You, you use the verb in past participle. So you're going to say, I will have gotten married. Okay. So the, the grammar structure is always the will have and the verb in the past participle. That's the idea. Okay. What else, Flor? Um, besides getting married, um, I will buy a house, no buy a car. I will buy car. a car. So no, yeah. I will buy a car. How are you going to say it? I will have bought a car. Exactly, exactly. That's the idea. So all of those are how you would answer it. I will have, I will, I will have, and then the verb in past participle. I will, it's okay? A little bit better? Okay. Yes. Yeah? Yes, okay. yes. All right, perfect. So with your partners, we have, I'm gonna share the screen. We have two activities. We have 4.2 and 4.3 that we're going to work on. The first one, 4.2 is using the correct grammar. Okay, here we're gonna talk about all of the things. We're gonna correct the mistakes using the future with will the future perfect or the continuous now remember the future the three are for the future this is clear the three are the future will you plan to do in the future will have you will finish before a time in the future and the future continuous i will have been is you are not finished at that time but you start before and you continue after that time. So for December, for December this year, I will have been dating my girlfriend. Uh, I start dating my girlfriend before December and I plan to continue dating my girlfriend after December or maybe in university. This is the first year in the university. I will have been studying university for a year. Why? Because I studied one year before and I plan to continue after December. It's okay, the future continues? Okay. Okay. The idea is practice and make sure that we get a good idea. That's the first part. So the first part is with our partners, make the sentences, 
correcting them into a nice form. The second part is with your partners. You are going to listen and you have to put in, did, is it Andrew, Rachel, or Layla that did those different things that are there? Okay. Any questions before we begin? No. No? Okay. Let's see. All right, let's do it.
Nuri, you okay? She admitted to the tweet.
Okay. Let's take a look. We have five different sentences. Number one, what do you think? I think it's by this time tomorrow, June will have been traveling for 24 hours. Okay. I'm just going to write the short form and then in one moment, we're going to look at the long one. That way everybody is clear the correct form of the structure. will have been traveling. Because... He's going to travel before and he's going to continue to travel after noon tomorrow. Okay, what about number two? Uh, by the end of the next week, they, they will install his phone. Then we can call him. They will? They will install his phone. Okay, okay, almost correct. Don't worry, we're gonna check it in just a moment. They will install his phone, okay? What about number three? He'll be going out more after a few weeks because um, he will be more familiar with the city. Okay. All right, number four. After studying English for a few months, we, we will feel more confident about speaking to people. Okay. Don't All forget, right. period. All right. Capital letters. Okay, and number five. Nobody has an idea for number five. By this time next year, he probably will not have written. No, written. Gino, okay. help me. <laughs> Us many letters, but we will continue to write to him anyway. Okay, all right. Well, let's take a look. Pretty good ideas. Here we have most of them. As you can see, it says by this time tomorrow, June will have been traveling for 24 hours. Exactly as you mentioned, will have been traveling because it's not completed yet. Okay, that's number one, very good. Number two, they will install his phone. It's not they will install, they will have because they do before the end of the week. They will have installed his phone, okay? And then the rest is the same. Number three, we said we'll be more familiar. Well, he'll be going out more after a few weeks because he will be more familiar. The same thing, that is correct. And the rest, only you copy it. Number four, we'll feel more confident. And let's see, after studying English for a few months, he will feel more confident. The same answer, you see? Very good. And the last one, will not have written us. Well, by this time next year, he probably will not have written us many letters. He, but we will continue. Look, no D. This is important. No D because no have. Only we will continue to write to him anyways. Is that okay? Any questions? Do you wanna take a screenshot just in case? That way you can put it in later. Okay. You, you can zoom the screen teacher. Um, no. Check? Yes, 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 I can. Okay, thank you. There you go.
and there is burn number five. Wait, sorry, there's number five. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, now let's go to the next one, the listening. Were you able to finish the listening? Yes, no. No, no teacher. No, okay, no I problem. Finish. In this moment, we're going to listen together. So okay. let's listen. And write down, is it Andrew, Rachel, or Layla? Did Andrew, A, Rachel, R, or Layla, L, do these things? Write the correct letter. 1. Andrew When I was in college, I spent a semester studying in London. And even though we speak the same language, English people and people from the U.S. are very different. I guess I felt that people from the U.S. have a, a bad reputation. Some people think we're loud and that we speak our minds too much. So I tried to listen a bit more and not be so assertive, if that makes sense. I wanted to make a good impression. I suppose I shouldn't have worried about it, but I did. I couldn't help it. I loved the lifestyle there. Going out for afternoon tea was fun, and I really loved the old buildings. I mean, they're really old. We don't have anything that old in the U.S., so that part was pretty amazing. Another thing was the TV. The British have a different sense of humor, very dry. I really like it. Their comedy shows on TV are really funny. I'd have to say my experience was a positive one overall, except for the rainy weather, of course. I had trouble getting used to that. 2. Rachel I lived in Madrid for a whole year, and I have to be honest and say that at first, well, I wasn't very happy. You see, I was homesick. I missed my family, and I just wanted to go home. Part of the problem was my Spanish. I couldn't communicate very well. But I love to eat, and that's what really saved me. You see, once I discovered tapas, oh, <laughs> let me explain, these delicious appetizers you eat. So I made some Spanish friends and we'd go out for tapas all the time. I got to eat a lot of delicious food and of course my Spanish improved dramatically as well. But there was one thing that was difficult to adjust to and that was that dinner was always served at a late hour. I wasn't used to eating at 11 o'clock at night. 3. Layla I came over to the U.S. from the Middle East. My family opened up a restaurant here. At first, I found it difficult. Everything seemed so different. Just using a payphone, for example, or going to a doctor was so different. I was pretty overwhelmed. And I guess because I wasn't feeling comfortable, I tended to make friends only with people from my country. I felt like I was living in a bubble, separated from the rest of the people all around me. But once I started feeling more confident about my English, I started meeting local people. I found them very friendly and open, and it turned out to be very easy to make friends. But there was one thing about people from the U.S. that bothered me at first. I found it hard to get used to the way they talked so much about themselves. It took me a long time to understand that you were supposed to talk about yourself too, because that is how people get to know one another. It's still hard for me to talk a lot about myself, but I'm getting better at it. Okay, let's try and then we can check again. Who was feeling homesick? Was it Andrew, Rachel or Leila? Rachel. Rachel. Okay. Who went out for afternoon teas? Layla. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to check again. Don't worry. Who made friends at Tapas restaurants? Rachel. Who started feeling confident about her English? 
Leila. Who ate dinner late at night? Oh, Asian, but I'm not sure. Oh, we're going to check in a moment. Who thought people talked about themselves too much? No. Leila. Leila. Uh -huh. I said Leila. Leila. Who enjoyed the old building? Andrew. Andrew. Who watched comedy TV shows? Andrew. 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 Who tried to talk about herself? Leila. Leila. Yeah. Let's listen again. Well, no, we don't need to listen again. Let's check. We'll make it easier. Okay. Here. Number one, correct. Number two, not Leila, Andrew. Andrew went out for afternoon tea. Oh. Three, correct, Rachel. Four, correct. Five, correct. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Only one mistake. Very good job. Only number yeah. two. Excellent. Okay. Great. Any questions? No, teacher. Uh, no, teacher, I don't have questions. Excellent. So, guys, now that we looked a little bit about the future, the future perfect and the future perfect continuous, let's talk about your weekend again and try to involve the new vocabulary structures. So, one more time. What are you going to do this weekend? tell me tell me so imagine before sunday okay so as an example oh when someone asked me what are you going to do this weekend well i will have cleaned my house uh before i will have cleaned my house by sunday that means i'm going to do it sunday or before okay also i can choose i am going to visit my friend i am going to go to the beach i will and these are the idea of using the different grammar structures. It's not only necessary, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. You want different because you have different ideas. Okay. Yeah. They will have. Mm -hmm. yeah, is the will have, will have been, and I will. Or going to. These are the different ones for the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a little difficult for me to decide what I, I use. I will or or simple future or future or future perfect or future perfect continue. It's a little difficult. It uh, is. I think it yeah. is difficult. And that's why it's important that you try to use different forms. Don't worry about it being uh, the correct one. The important is that you start to feel comfortable using different forms in your speaking. Okay? Yeah. All right, guys. Well. Uh, I thank you guys so much for connecting. I appreciate it. It is Thursday. Remember, you need to finish. One, two, three, four. We're going to have next week. Today we begin unit four, but you should be complete. One, two, and three. And next week, woof, is going to be fast the days. Believe me, four days and we are finished with the course. Okay. Okay, sure. All right, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Thank you, Thank you guys. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night.